Craig here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the WordPress plugin called All-in-One SEO. Now the reason you may want to use this plugin is for search engine optimization reasons and before we jump into setting up this plugin what I want to do is show you two websites. Now one of them is using the plugin and one of them isn't. Now again this is my example website that I use in most of the videos it's about dog training. So as it's about dog training, I went to find two other websites about dog training. So this website we're looking at right here is not using the All-in-One SEO Pack plugin. And this website is using it. Now the All-in-One SEO Pack plugin, it basically controls your page titles and your page descriptions in the search engines. So if we wanted to go and take a look at this website's page titles and descriptions, we can simply come over to Google and enter in site colon and a domain name. And right here is the home page. Now, as you can see, it's got a very short website title, natural dog blog, and that's it. And then it has a, you know, the home page description. Now, as you can tell, this is not a description, but the reason it's entered in something strange as a description is because this website it's not telling Google what it wants to use for a description. Now this lady's website, if we go and do the same kind of search, site colon and domain name, you'll see we have the homepage title here, and then we have a custom homepage description. Because if you see this content here, and then you look on the homepage, you will not see that content visible. That's because she is using the plugin, and she's telling Google, make sure you use this as my web page description. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and locate and install the all in one SEO pack plugin. So under plugins, we're going to click on add new. And if you enter in as a keyword all in one SEO, it's going to be this plugin down here, all in one SEO pack. And we're going to click on install. Okay. And we're going to activate the plugin. Now, when you activate it, it's going to give you like this red. It's not really an error, but it's telling you that you need to go and configure the plugin before it's going to work. So we can click there and it's going to take us to the page we need to go to. But if for some reason you that message disappears, it's under settings and all in one SEO. So if you click on that, we're going to be presented with this screen. So the first thing I recommend you do is you click enable and you can scroll down and click update options if you want. So now we've got rid of that message and I'm just going to quickly run over this. Now, almost all of the settings on this on this page, you can leave as default, but there are some things that we need to enter and that is the home page title, the home page description, and you can enter in some home keywords. It's kind of optional and I'll, the reason it's optional is because Google no longer uses meta keywords. Now, some other search engines do. And, you know, it's, it doesn't hurt to enter in some keywords, but just keep in mind that Google doesn't use them. So before entering any kind of content in here, you need to know what your main keyword phrase is that you want to target. Now, our example blog here is about dog training. Now, the keyword phrase dog training is very broad and, you know, really you, sh you should kind of analyze your competition and see how easy it would be to kind of rank for a certain kind of keyword phrase. Now, if you wanted to kind of rank locally, for example, I'm in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, I could have my homepage title or I could focus on dog training in Ottawa. What we're going to do here is we're going to enter in a homepage title that we want it to use. So I've entered in dog training 101 learn how to train your dog for free. Now we have a limited amount of space for the homepage title and I believe it's 60 characters and the homepage description you can enter in 160 characters. Now for the homepage description well you definitely want to enter in your main keyword phrase and you want to kind of explain what your site is about. You also want to use some of your some related keywords that you think people will be searching. Now I will do some other videos on LSI keywords etc but I don't want to get into that in this video. So what I've just pasted in is a dog training 101 we focus on dog training techniques that work each and every time. 
We also have many tips and tricks to teach your dog at home. Now, <laughs> I, I just kind of threw that together, but I'm sure you get what, what I'm trying to explain here. Now again, the keywords, it's optional, but we're gonna put some in just for this example. So we enter in dog training, comma, and then we'll do dog training tip, comma, etc. So the rest of these options here, you know, unless you know what you're doing, I recommend you just leave them on the default settings. That's normally what I will do. If you want to find out a little bit more information, you can click on here, it's going to kind of explain what each one means. And if you only wanted it to show post title, then obviously you would delete that part. So feel free to click on these and see what they, they are. And we're going to scroll down here. Now, if you use Google Plus, you can enter in your Google Plus uh, profile URL here and if you use Google Analytics you can enter in the Google Analytics ID here. Now again everything else I will just leave as is and we're going to scroll down and update our options. Something else that this plugin does is it adds some additional options when we're creating posts and pages. So I'm going to head over to all posts and now as you can see we have three additional columns right here. Now, because none of these posts have been set up, it's all blank here. So what we're going to do is quickly jump over to one of these and edit it. To get to the, the additional options, we need to scroll down to the very bottom. And here we have all in one SEO pack. Now this is where we can enter in a title and a description and the keywords. But this time our title needs to focus on our post content. Say we wanted to go after the keyword phrase dog training tips. Now, for example, if this was about the dog training tips, we could enter in something like five dog training tips that will train your dog to stay. Now, as you can see, we've used 52 characters. And remember, it tells you there too, that we shouldn't really go more than 60 because Google doesn't display more than 60 characters. And this is the 160 characters for the site description. And if you wanted to enter in your description, I'm just going to paste in the same one as the home. Now, as you can see, we've only used 147. I recommend you try and use your full 160. Another thing to keep in mind when you're creating your titles and your descriptions is when somebody enters in a phrase at Google, they look over these the titles and descriptions before they visit your website. So now if you don't have something that sounds appealing, well, they're probably not even going to click on the result. So always try and make sure that you have a nice title and description that's also appealing to the visitor. And basically that is how you set up the all-in-one SEO plugin. Now, if you have any questions, just post a comment below this video and I will try and answer them as soon as possible.